Hey guys, E3 is finally here. Who won the battle? Sony, Microsoft, or Nintendo? Let's find out. Microsoft went on, they kicked ass. Sony went on, they kicked ass. Nintendo didn't show up, and they made a message for everybody, and it was completely underwhelming. Nintendo has given up on the Wii U. They have maybe two or three games coming out that are worth buying before this new system, the NX, that they're talking about is coming out. They didn't talk anything about Zelda whatsoever. Uh, no uh, Metroid, and no major Mario games that are coming out, besides Mario Tennis, Mario Maker, but you know they talked about that last year. Kind of disappointing. Uh, so Nintendo, whoosh, they're out. We're not going to talk about those guys anymore. We're talking about the Titans. We're talking about Microsoft and Sony. Microsoft came on and they did amazing. First of all, they announced that they're going to have uh, backwards compatibility for over 100 games from 360 uh, by Christmas this year. Basically what you'll do is you'll take your disc, you'll push it in, you'll install it, and then you can play it. That's it. If you have any digital copies from, um, from your 360 before and you have your gamer tag that you're using now, Basically, it'll register and knowing that you purchased before and you just re-download it. It's absolutely amazing. They finally did it. They figured out how to do it, and they did it. Um, they also announced Gears War 4, or Gears 4. Uh, Halo 5, of course, is coming out, which we see some stuff. We finally got to see some cool gameplay and multiplayer for that. Um, Rise of the Tomb Raider is coming out before Christmas this year. That game looked amazing. The trailer and the, uh, uh, the gameplay was absolutely incredible. Um, it, it looks amazing. It blew my mind. That's probably one of the most exciting games that I'm going to play probably this year. Uh, they also announced the Rare Replay uh, pack, which is going to be 30 uh, old school Rare games like Conquer, uh, Conquer's Bad Fur Day, uh, Viva Pinata, uh, Perfect Dark, Banjo Kazooie. All those games are going to be together for 30 bucks for 30 games. Even RC Pro Am, which you remember that from when we were all kids. Uh, that's going to be really exciting. They're also putting achievements on there too, so you can you know unlock that. Um, they also announced uh, more Windows 10, you know, interface stuff that they're going to have a new operating system to put on the system by the end of the year. Uh, and, you know, they're going to have full integration uh, with things back and forth for VR and streaming and all that good stuff with PC, which is really exciting. Um, they also announced that Fallout 4, which is, you know, it's going to be on multiple consoles, the first ever mods, the mods that they make on Fallout, which are some of the best mods that are out there for PC, are going to be 100% compatible with Xbox One. So anytime any of these newer mods come out, like Grand Theft Auto, people are going nuts about the mods for PC. It'd be like being able to play all those mods on your console. Um, it's really exciting. I think that's bigger news than everybody's actually making it right now. Um, it looked really good. Gears of War 4 was really cool. Uh, Sony, going over those guys, the big thing with Sony is they, they knew how to push all the right buttons. Uh, they announced that there's going to be a Final Fantasy VII remake, which they didn't put a date on. They just said, you know, it's coming sometime in the next five years. Uh, they did say, however, that uh, they had multiple other games that are coming out. They showed uh, Uncharted 4, uh, Thief's End, I believe it's called. That game looked absolutely incredible, but you know, it's just going to be like any other Uncharted game. It's going to be amazing to play. You'll play it for a weekend or a week, and then you might never touch it again. So it's worth the time. It's like going and watching you know, one of your favorite movies, and then it's over. Um, but it still looked absolutely amazing. They also announced they're going to have a new game coming out called Horizon. Uh, which is the guys that made Killzone, and basically it looks like a futuristic version of cavemen running around uh, destroying and attacking uh, giant mechanical dinosaurs. <laughs> it's really crazy, it looked really cool, it'd be really fun to play, and it's a female protagonist in it too, which is becoming a fad also that I noticed this year. There were a lot of games like Assassin's Creed and this Horizon game and uh, the new Dishonored game that's coming out that are going to have female protagonists that you can play as, which is pretty cool because that was a really big issue. Um, other than that, PS4 also came out The Last Guardian. Completely looked under underwhelming for me. It's been in, uh, in the process of being made for seven years. And you know what happened with Duke Nukem Forever when that happened? It absolutely sucked. I wouldn't be surprised to see this as a PlayStation Plus uh, free game when it comes out. Call me crazy. You know, call me crazy in the comments if you want, but that's my personal belief on it. It's taken way too long, and honestly, it sure looked a lot better if they brought it to PS4. Um, but I guess they have to bring it out now that they've, you know, talked it out so much, or talked it up so much, so we'll see. They also talked about Shenmue 3. They're doing a Kickstarter, so it wasn't an announcement for the game. It was an announcement that they're going to do a Kickstarter on it. So I'm sure it'll get made. I mean, it was up like 600000 that it made within like 20 minutes of them talking about it. So it'll get made. But it was a really strange announcement for PlayStation to make. There were great uh, indie titles on both sides. Firewatch and No Man's Sky, you know, coming for PlayStation. And then Cuphead and uh, a new game by the guys that made Gone Home, uh, which looks kind of like a, um, 
a thriller in space. It looks really cool. So there's really good stuff on both sides. Definitely Xbox kicked ass for this year for the next 12 months. Sony looks like they have their stuff together, but it still looks pretty empty for the stuff they talked about. It kind of reminded me of when Nintendo comes out and they say, we have three amazing games coming out. And then once every four months, you're playing an amazing game. So uh, I, there's a lot more games that they, they didn't talk about. Uh, they didn't talk about a lot of the Xbox exclusives. They also have coming out next year, like Crackdown and some other ones like that. And then PlayStation, of course, has some other ones. Stu's new Friday the 13th knockoff that looks really cool. It's coming out. Um, definitely, I think Xbox won this year. I'm kind of standing by myself. So I'd love to hear what you guys think. Honestly, it kind of seemed like, I don't want to say Sony sold out, uh, but, you know, they did a lot of third-party stuff this year, and, you know, Call of Duty is the best place to, or PlayStation's the be best place to play Call of Duty, and all this exclusive content for third-party games, which is great, but who cares about a couple extra boards? It's like when you get a pre-order in a store, and then they say, you know, thanks for pre-ordering, you get this special gun that shoots one extra bullet every three seconds or something like that. I mean, who cares? So, um, yeah, I'm really excited for Xbox. I think they're going to come back. They're going to be a lot more competitive with PlayStation for the next year or so. And there's a really a lot of good stuff to come. Um, not too impressed with Sony. But once again, you guys are going to have to tell me what you think because I'm sure that you watched it too or you have your own thoughts. So, sound off. Let us know at the fan club. Thanks a lot. Later.